What's up guys, Juice Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we got something pretty damn cool. There's a lot of new players added to FIFA Ultimate Team that was not in the game previously, and it includes some absolute FIFA legends and some players that could help with your hybrids and stuff like that, guys. So as always, if you smash 2,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And if you're to my channel, click the subscribe button for more. And what I'm aware of right now, there are no Marcus Rashfords or anything like that as of yet. I mean, he could be added at some point, but Marcus Rashford, he is searchable, um, but unfortunately doesn't have a pitch or anything like that, so you cannot actually get him in the game. But we're gonna start off though with a former Spurs and Manchester United player in um, particular from the BPL and that is Dimitar Berbatov uh, now playing in the Hellas League for I think it's P-A-O-K I don't know if it's or Pauk I don't know but still I mean he's back and he's got four star skill moves so he kind of has to have four star skill moves because he was the guy that invented the Berber spin and he's just a great player he's a very classy player on FIFA he's lacking the pace he does have some decent passing um, shooting and dribbling so he may be okay to use including his six foot two height next up we've got Johan Gorkuf a player that really didn't live up to his potential uh, a few years back. He now plays in the league on for Stad Ren, and he's got five star week for four star skill moves, high medium work rate, six foot one. And he, looks, uh, he looks usable to be honest. 81 dribbling, 82 passing, and it's 71 shooting. I mean, as a camp, you don't really have to have that much pace and could probably do a job. Then we have got Ron Vlar, the former Aston Villa man, has gone to AZ Alkmaar. I think this was back in the summer, uh, so I'm not too sure why he isn't on the game because he was initially a free agent. But he's six foot two, 61 pace, 81 defending, and 80 physical. We've got a returning beast after last, like, I think it's three FIFAs possibly or two FIFAs and that is Umbukani of Norwich City. He did join back in the summer but I think he was on the database because he was playing in Ukraine or something like that but he's an absolute monster. 82 pace, 76 drumming, 79 physical, 76 shooting, 6 foot 1 and um, I mean, I'm actually he's very cheap. I think he's a non-wear on top of that so he should be uh, very, very uh, affordable basically. Then we have got Yunus Belhanda, a Moroccan that looks absolutely fantastic for Schalke. I think he's played also in Ukraine at some point um, but he looks like a great card. One of the better ones if I must say so. He's got 75 pace, 81 dribbling, 72 physical, 73 shooting and 79 passing. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot and he's very, very nice to link up for our hybrids. Especially, I mean, Schalke got some great players. There's also a lot of good Moroccans on the game. Next up, we've got Papa Kuli Diop. I thought, it, honestly, it was Papa Buba Diop, the former Fulham man, the absolute tank, but he plays for Espanyol in the Liga BVA and he's got some nice stats for a CDM and uh, probably do a decent job, although there are better alternatives. Then we've got Claudio Pizarro, former Bayern Munich man at uh, Verde Bremen this time. He doesn't look great, but he's a, again, I think he's considered a legend or a cult hero because he looks um, very bad for FIFA. But I think in real life currently, he's actually scoring quite a lot of goals. Now we've got a player from Montenegro, which is going to be Dejan Damjanovic, a former player that I think he had a team this season a few years back um, in the K-League. Now he's back at FCCL, uh, CL, I think that's what he called them. Um, and I'm pretty sure he used to play for them before that. I, I know he went off to for a brief stint in like China or possibly, um, but now he's back. He does like an okay card, given his height and his weak foot, and he's actually got some decent stats for a 77 rated card. Then we've got Pablo Hernandez who did go off to Qatar if I am right and now plays for Rayo Vallecano in the Liga BVA. The former Swansea man did used to be a winger but now in fact does play a central attacking midfield role for this team and has some decent stats for that position. As a winger he may be a little bit slow but in the cam roll 77 pace is definitely enough to uh, be useful right there. 83 drilling and 4 star skill moves for him. Then we have got the, the main man. Emmanuel Emenike is back on foot finally. I'm fully aware he was on the previous FIFA but from the start this one he was not because he did join um West Ham basically in January and he's an absolute monster still 86 pace 75 drilling 74 shooting and 81 physical he's a little bit more toned down to what he used to be but still looks like an absolute tank in that striker role and I should have a squad build out of him um probably in the next couple of days now moving on from MNEK we've got a very slow centre back by the name of Daniele Bonera of Villarreal and this guy's got 50 pace 80 defending looks pretty damn average uh, other than that to be honest that defending is his own good stat then we've got the former Fulham man uh, uh, Erby Emanuelson. He plays for our house Verona now, who I think are bottom of the Serie A, but he's a gold left back, 84 pace, 81 dribbling, and some, I'm, I mean, the other stats are quite questionable, but still, probably could be usable. We have got Alberto Giardino, and I don't think he's been in FIFA for a while. By the way, he's back now playing for Palermo, who, uh, again, I think like second bottom currently. Also a silver, in fact. Then we've got Helder Postiga, a, 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 I think he's like a cult hero again, or a legend for Portugal. Uh, high, high work rates, four star skill moves, 71 pace, 72 shooting, uh, 74 physical and 73 dribbling for him. He plays for Rio a Ave or something in the uh, Portuguese league. Then we have got Marco Borrello. Um, some of these are just old players that could uh, like being re-added to the 
database. He again looks pretty damn average playing for Atlanta in the Serie A. Then we've got a legend for Newcastle, Jonas Gutierrez, who helped keep them up last year. And then after his heroics of uh, not only just keeping Newcastle up, but also uh, beating cancer. And this guy, uh, he then got released by Newcastle, which I found really disrespectful. But either way, he now plays and uh, finds himself playing for Deportivo La Coruña in the uh, Liga BVA this time. High, high work rate, and he does, it doesn't look great, but still, it's nice to have him back. Then we've got Alexander Hleb, the former Arsenal and Barcelona man. He now is back in the Turkish League. I think he played there last season, was on FIFA. Uh, for some reason, was not on this FIFA though, and he's getting on a little bit now. Uh, 1981, how old does that make him? Like 35 possibly? Um, but still, I mean, he doesn't look great. And uh, moving on from him, we have got, oh, I can't say his first name, Huchi is his uh, second name, a left midfielder this time for Frankfurt from Hungary. Four star skill moves for him, and the final one, the man is back, the big yak, uh, feed the yak and he will score. The Nigerian god uh, now plays in the, I think it's the Turkish league possibly, yeah, for k Sport. And you can now have a team with him and Samuletto up front. And it's what dreams are made of. I remember when he used to bang in goals for Portsmouth um, probably about 10 years ago or so now. And uh, the guy's an absolute tank and obviously played for likes of Blackburn and stuff like that. So they are all the players. I think there's 19 in total. The standout ones, obviously, um, I'd probably say are Umbakani, Belhanda, and uh, of course, you can't miss him, Amanda Lemonike. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it all helpful, smash that like button. 2,000 likes would be absolutely awesome. If you're to my channel, click the subscribe button for more. And in the comments below, who out of these are you most looking forward to using? I'm pretty sure I know all your answers. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.